We have reported on Chicago area thieves targeting ATMs before, but never have we seen them go to these lengths to grab cash. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joins us live to show us the construction vehicle they stole to commit the crime. Meredith? Jim, not only did they steal a backhoe, they drove it all the way from Calumet Heights on the south side, all the way up to Rogers Park on the north side. The 20 mile, the 20 plus mile trip was all to do this in the middle of the night. The criminals used the jackhammer attached to destroy this chase ATM. Surveillance video from a nearby liquor store shows a car pull up to the strip mall on Morse Avenue around one in the morning. Following behind the car, if you look closely, is the backhoe. Sources say it's owned by Mead Construction and was taken from a construction site near 90th Street and Constance Avenue around 4 p.m. Thursday. When crews arrived back at the site this morning, they were shocked to see it was gone and used its GPS to track it all the way up to the Roger, Rogers Park Strip Mall, approximately 180 city blocks away. Residents who frequently use the ATM were surprised to hear what happened this morning. I've seen where a lot of, lot of crooks, they would take the small ATMs, but this like takes the case. Now it's unclear how much, if any, money those thieves got away with. No one is in custody. Reporting live from our Streetside studio, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS2 News.